right, now Cam's moving up the mountain. He's got some debris in front of him, though. That's causing some trouble. He's using our rotary treads to get over that debris and move it forward. He needs to use the servo to try and knock down the climber on the side. Maybe if Stu can use the arm to pull them up. Oh, and we fully flipped over. Too much force on it. We are on our back and we can do nothing. The Principia environment fosters just a totally different robotics environment. I do a lot of hands-off. I allow them to think through and go through. This is theirs and that's our philosophy. The robotics program is from kindergarten up through high school and even supporting the college engineering program. We have a kindergarten through third grade, junior Lego League, and they are so excited. They take solutions to everyday problems, create Lego models, and then tell how they're going to solve the problems. For the seventh grade robotics, they were using the uh, programmable robots. They had a scenario that we were planning a mission to Mars, and they needed to be able to program a Mars rover be able to complete some tasks on Mars. And for the eighth graders, they built some robotic arms. It was great for them to work in a group setting, but also recognize and see that robotics need to have people design them, people need to be able to build them, people need to be able to maintain them, people need to be able to program them. So there's a lot more to robotics than just programming a robot to perform a task. I've gotten an experience of what it's really like to be in a college setting, just brought down to a high school level or standard. This year I've gotten to be part of the position of the project manager and as the project manager you're just in charge of knowing everything that's happening. So you don't have as much of a hands-on role in teaching people how to do things but you're in charge of making sure everything's on schedule, people are showing up, everyone knows what they're doing, everyone knows who's doing what, everyone's communicating. This world is becoming more cooperative based than just a single dude doing this job and this. We're all interacting more and more. Robotics in a way teaches you to be patient to make sure, hey, do we all understand each other? Are we all communicating clearly? So that, that's, that's one of the intrinsic things you learn with robotics. We're in the process of uh, developing how best to coordinate this with the other subjects, with the other disciplines. Uh, programming is a language. Obviously that should be able to apply to, to language arts. There's a lot of math that's involved in it as well. Uh, social studies and history is definitely there's a strong impact that robots have had on society. So I think there's, there's very good opportunities for us to be able to continue to try to integrate with the other disciplines. But it's also those important skills of being able to collaborate, work together, be able to problem solve. Those are the skills that transfer to anything they're going to be doing in life. We're merely using the robotics as a tool to be able to do that. The state competition was really something special that we got invited to. We designed a robot that its purpose was to be able to work with any other robot. No matter where they wanted to be on the field, we would be able to work around them. And we worked so well and ended up winning state, which was really awesome for us. You get this big banner, and it was our second year, and we felt so accomplished. We came back, and the first thing we said was, we can't wait for next year.